evening, everyone, and welcome to Stone's Live Poker. I am Jake Rosenstiel here with Mike Longcar. What's up, buddy? Yes, what's How up? How you doing, man? Good, really good. Yeah, uh, and tonight, uh, it is the Veronica and Friends. It's not 1-3. We are playing 8-16-08. Yes. Beautiful game. I love Omaha. I love Yes. So I've seen you, I mean, cash game player, tournament crusher. I haven't seen you play four card poker. I didn't, I, know, I didn't know you play some OA, buddy. I do, I do. I mean, sparingly, you sparingly. know, probably once every three months. But it, I it's love a it. lot of fun. I it's love a beautiful it. game. It's yes. wonderful. Um, also, tonight, it is the Quantum Tournament has officially started. Yep. Uh, today, it's packed. Yeah. Every oh, table yeah. is full. Every table. There's a waiting list for people to still get in the tournament. Games are good, a lot of cash games going on. Yeah. But, but tonight, it's uh, a 120 buy in for 10 starting stack and I believe 10% make it to a day two yep. and then starting tomorrow will be the $240 flights for 20k starting stack and uh, 20% make it to day two if I'm not mistaken yep yep and then I thought you, you can direct buy in a day two for like 900 bucks yeah, yeah. Right. you get 100,000 to start day two $900 and the blinds are starting at 1,000 2,000 I have a couple friends that are doing that I think they're crazy but that's that's right. that's teaches on I guess they had 100 runners last night I, um, I don't know how many we're up to already. We're approaching 100 runners already in the early levels here. Uh, it's going to be good. But tonight, we're all tuned in. It's 08. It's Veronica and Friends. It's Wine Wednesday. It's wine Let's wine. get down to the table and uh, see who's playing. Uh, seat one is Scott. Uh, Scott's a great player. He plays PLO, PLO8, Hold'em, everything. Uh, he can play long sessions. Uh, Scott's one of the best. Uh, seat two, Big Jeff. Jeff Sardella. Card poker uh, staple here in Sacramento, and then uh, you guys might recognize seat three. That is Lon Mr. McCarran. Lon McCarran in the house, voice of the World Series of Poker. Um, some dumb blonde in seat four. That's <laughs> my good friend Veronica Brill. Oh, look at that! Having a great time. That's See, a that's great a great picture. shot. That's that a is great a great picture. picture. I love it, it. Is uh, speaking of crushers, Azan in seat five. Poker pro does, plays all the games. Gotta love them. And then personality at the poker table, Alicia A Train. Now, A train, I like that. It's good. Nice. Yeah, a lot of fun. Master C, he's a reg in the chat. He's been on the stream before. He's got a pagan idol tower of Babel for chips going on. <laughs> it's looking good. Uh, in seat eight, we got Shane. Uh, I played a lot of Omaha with Shane over the last couple days. And uh, in seat nine, um, that's um, Sally. Going by Sally tonight. I'll have to try not to slip up and call her uh, by her other alias. <laughs> But four card poker, it's 816 and there's no kill. So just straight 816 tonight. Brock 21, Watt Bry, what's up? What up? Rick and Barstow, all the regs in the chat. It's a good, it's a good game. 816 is a lot of fun. I mean, four eights are fun. I mean, four card poker is fun like that. But I mean, games like this, they can get really big, really fast, and you don't even realize that I mean, you can get stuck in you know, a couple grand in this game. Oh, yeah. Easily. Yeah, without, Easily. Yeah, without thinking. Yeah. Fun. So are you firing the quantum at all? I'm not. No, I'm not. Same here. I got I got other obligations I, I want to fire. Thought, but I thought I was firing every single <laughs> flight a few weeks ago, but I've been really just in the zone online. I actually have something going on Sunday now, so I can't really make data. But uh, nice. I wish I could. It's a good one. Right. It's a really good one. I can't play either. Uh, so I bought some pieces of a couple friends that are playing. Uh, hopefully you can get a little sweat. You know. Yeah. I was always good to have sweat. Hell yeah. I'm actually yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm scheduled to be. Uh, in the booth with Lon McCarran for the final table, so oh, nice. I can't make the final table because I can't miss my, <laughs> yeah. my Lon and Lon car show. Oh my god, the Lon car show. That's right. So yeah, so for those of you just joining us, tonight is an 816 Omaha high-low game. Players get four cards. Two of their whole cards must be used with the board. If you have the ace of spades and there are four spades on board, and that is the only spade in your hand, you do not have a flush. I love uh, Veronica. She's told the story. The person she played, uh, oh, hey, like it took the, the the dealer in the whole floor a while to explain it to her how she did not have the flush. <laughs> what a classic fish. rookie mistake. And uh, we're playing with the uh, the two dollar chips tonight. The uh, peach salmon colored, orangish on our screen looking uh, chips. They're so nice. They're like so clean. Like they don't ever, they rarely get used. Yeah, they're so like just crisp. And for those of you that don't know too much about Omaha High Low. There is, half the pot is rewarded for the high hand, just like in Texas Hold'em. And if the board allows a qualifying low hand, which means that the must have yeah, three cards between an ace and an eight, 
then there is a qualifying low hand, and half half of the hand half of the pot can be won for the high hand, half of the pot can be won for the low hand. Kerizer, what's up? What up? Thanks for joining us in the chat as ever as, as always. I freaking love the chat. You guys are awesome. They are the best. <laughs> Wait, and get some graphics up here. It is Wine Wednesday. You can see Scott, Master C there, indulging themselves. Look at look at all the, the wine glasses and everything behind Veronica. It's <laughs> on. A couple empty wine bottles here by Lawn. It's gonna be a good night. Yes. Four card poker, pink chips in play, and the wine is flowing. This is the first time I think I've ever been on this for a cash game. I recognize every single person. Yeah, right? A little weird. Yeah, this is definitely a social game. This is not going to be a quiet table if you're sitting down. Get some graphics up. Let's go. All right, I think we're ready to get some graphics in here. Great thing about like limit games and like mixed games, you know, and all is they tend to be just more social period. Like hold yeah. them, people you know, get the, the glass on, the, the earbud, the hoodies. I mean, they tend yeah. to go like full zombie mode, and there's not, not a lot of sociability around the poker tables, right? Limit games, non-hold variants, it tend to be much more engaging. It's I mean, especially in a game like this, you know, Veronica and friends where you want to have a good time. It's a good game for this, you know. Yeah. No, it really is. Yeah, you really don't have to be so serious. This is limit games are definitely a game where you can uh, you can be in the middle of a big pot and putting in a raise and making a joke and yeah. it's really not going to change a whole lot. No, it's really not. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. And here we go. And we got uh, four color decks right on. And we see Lon's got a uh, got got the pup with him. I can't remember the dog's name. I'm fired. Ace Jack four five. Pretty good starting hand for Omaha High Low. Shane's gonna call the ten ten six deuce double suited. Oh, this is so much. This is so much fun. I love I love Omaha so much. Something it's good. definitely a lot more fun than Texas Hold'em. Just gonna flat ace ace eight three. I would have thought that'd be worth putting in two bets there on the button. We got a suit and ace, ace, ace and two wheel cards. Interesting. He's just gonna flat here. And nine six seven two spades. Veronica flops middle set here. Somehow got sucked in the big blind playing eight seven seven deuce. And if you guys see the percentage on the screen, the first percentage is the chance of winning the high hand. The high. Excuse me. The the high portion of the pot and the second percentage is the low. So as you can see, Jeff at the top there with his ace three, a very nice favorite to win the low. Veronica with trip sevens and open ended straight draw, 50% to win the high. Sally, the only flush draw. Turn ace. Just now gonna turn a bigger set. Veronica's still leading. It does complete the low. However, it's gonna counterfeit all your ace three, ace deuce low draws here. Alicia throws away the five four. Five and Veronica makes her straight, and her eight deuce is gonna play for low. Veronica's got a scooper. Wow, she has the scoop. The scooper. And she's gonna take down, very fittingly, the first hand here on Veronica and friends with the high and the low. It's an easy game. Easy game. And you see Jeff shaking his head like, how? Why? <laughs> how? Why? <laughs> so her 8-deuce plays for the low. Her 8-7 plays for the high. And she scoops. Kevin Jai 916 Yes, these are $2 chips. Yes, that is a dog at the table. But that's Lon McCarran. He gets to do whatever the hell he wants. <laughs> that's right. Spade up, Veronica is the queen bee here in this game. 
Veronica has done, I mean, very well in her own game. I mean, Veronica and friends game for the first year and a half, she didn't have a losing session. And then she had like the string where she like got stuck in like three, like stuck small in like three sessions, like losing four or five hundred dollars. Which in the as big as the one three plays here, that's not like the wheels coming off. You know, it's like she had like three losing sessions after a year and a half of like run good, and she starts complaining. And she's like, God, I don't know if I can do it anymore. <laughs> oh my like, God, that's really? The- like really? <laughs> <laughs> we're so we're so like last minute. And what's going happening lately? Like we lose one pot and it's gotta. How do I run so bad? <laughs> Win for a year and a half, lose three sessions, and life is over. <laughs> can play very, very loose. We have so many starting hand combinations pre-flop. A game like this, with all the booze in play, the fact that it's a stream game, Strong and Friends, I would expect this to play exceptionally loose, even for an 08 game. Sally looks like she's coming in for a raise. Really nice starting hand. Ace, King, 5-3, double suited. Do we like that? Lawn, ace king, nine three. He's got a suited king, ace wheel card. Veronica, ace three seven four. One suit, ace wheel card, ace and uh, two wheel cards. Ten nine six doesn't connect really hard with anybody here. Azan has got a pair of tens and a flush draw. Puts out the bet. Pretty nice flop for, and a perfect turn card for Ozzy there. Turns the flush. Turns the flush with trips. trips. No low and possible and long. It's out of the way. Don't know what Veronica's really contemplating here. Wow! Wow! What a whale! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my man. God! Overkill. River Quads, and please tell me you're going to leave Veronica. <laughs> okay, she finally realizes that where she's at. <laughs> the disappointment in Ozzy's face. Look, let's look at the 10. Oh, the 7 of clubs. Shows the 7 of clubs. It's a bad, bad man. No Wap Riot is no kill tonight, just straight 816. <laughs> this game's gonna play big and loose enough as it is. Ozzy's explaining to Veronica, you see, because four of a kind is one of the best hands that or best hands to have here. <laughs> Therefore he lose. Also peeling the turn with A743 on 10-10. Nine six with three clubs. A uh, little ambitious, Veronica. <laughs> I think that Ozzy's firing twice into multiple opponents. Sally's gonna limp along with the ace jack 10 7 here. Got a suited ace. It's such a beautiful hand, but in high low. Yeah, you can only win half the I mean, the seven's not really helping us. I mean, if you get to catch 9 8 boards. Alicia's got a hand that's gonna be usually in 08 it's gonna get you in a lot of trouble. A lot of middling cards there. Yeah, five, six, nine, seven, three to a suit. It's hard to scoop hands ever with middling cards like that. Same thing for Jeff's hand, the five the seven five five four. It can be done a little bit easier with that hand, but it's still you're working uphill. Uh, the King 8 5 hits Sally and A train for flush draws. Turn ace. Jeff's got a set of fives. And 
If the graphics are correct, Jeff is scooping here. Playing 7-4 low. And a set of fives. A set of fives. Looks like Jeff's going to get it some back here for losing that pot to Veronica. I nuke your mom. How, how, how's, how's Chachi's poker face? Chachi, that's that's Lon's dog's name. God, why can't I remember that? Chachi. <laughs> what the heck? How's, I nuke your mom. I nuke your mom. <laughs> that's, the, that's the definition of an aggressive screen name. <laughs> right. <laughs> Master C is in the chat and in the game. What's up, buddy? What's up? Fat Train, you'll never get rid of Chachi. Cold-blooded killer. <laughs> when in doubt, we ask Chachi. What do we do? Do we raise? It's a packed house tonight. Yeah, this is the first time I had to circle a parking lot twice to find a parking spot. I've right. never seen it like that. It's crazy. I had to park way in the back. Yeah, so there was the 10 a.m. flight today for the 100K, and now the 6 p.m. flight. So this place is jammed. Yeah, it is. Is the 10 a.m. flight done? Do you know? Yes. They finished? <laughs> no. I, I, I feel like I should know that. Because then I was here, like, today, but... Oh, uh, no, I'm unaware. So yeah, tomorrow there's another, there's two more starting flights for the $120 buy-in, 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. for the 100K, and then Friday and Saturday there's only one flight each day for $240, 20K starting stack. If you're in the area and want to play a great, great value tournament, this is the one to play. Yeah, 100, 100K guarantee at a, at a $100, $120, dollar price point. $120, $120 to win probably around twenty-five or 30000 Can't beat that. Uh, right. We got the 10 4 deuce on the flop. Master C's got it a wheel draw. Ace, King, King, 5. Master C is. Yeah, it's a really nice flop. It's got backdoor spades, wheel draw. Scott's also kings. got the Ace 5, wheel, or Ace 5 draw. No one in the Ace 3 here. Turn Jack. Veronica did not see the turn card. What if it turned open ended? Alicia. It's still barreling here. Top pair, open ended straight draw. Although two of her outs are in her hand for the open ended straight draw. Excuse me, well, they're not Queen Knight. What am I talking about? Yeah. <laughs> too, many, too many cards. Too many cards, what's going on? So there it is, there's the low. Master C and Scott will be chopping the low. Master C's kings are gonna play for high here. Yeah. Alicia led flop on 10 4 deuce with Queen Jack 9 9. Into multiple opponents, it might be a little bit uh, ambitious. She thought maybe she got a oh pretty good turn. Goodness. What? Matches C? What? Ace five? How do we fold ace five? Second, we have the second net second low. Second net low and pocket kings for the best hand on the high? I mean, yeah, we're not. We're, I mean, we don't expect to win. I mean, as it was, he was getting three quarters of the pot. We would expect him to win the, to be getting high a lot there with one pair. But we have the second net low. And what were we calling for? Just to hope that kings run out pure? I'm going to give Master C credit that there was a mis misread on the on the, on the the card reader. That's he what turned I'm an say. inside straight draw. He did have an ace in his hand. He had the second net low. I mean, maybe. Pocket kings. Man. I'm going to give him credit for a uh, miss. What do you call it? Misread. Yeah. Man's preoccupied eating food. He's not thinking about poker right now. <laughs> yep, there are over 10 cash going on. There'd be more, but right now, but I mean, we're running out of room. Alternates for the cat for the tournament. Lists on the cash games. The games are really not good right now. Kind of nuts. So fun. I love this it game really so is. much. It really is. 
When in doubt, get out there and play four card poker. It's twice it. as fun and twice as painful as Texas Hold'em. That is, those are, those are facts. <laughs> Maybe not limit as much, but PLO is definitely twice as painful and twice as. Oh fun. yeah. And as expected here, a lot of multi-wave flop, multi-wave pots, five eight seven rainbow, mass to see with bottom pair and a gut shot straight draw. Aussie's pocket uh, double gutter. You can make straight with a six or a nine. That's right. Ace comes off, brings in a diamond draw. Also gives Scott the net low. Scott's yeah, really good turn card for Scott. The old nine seven three deuce. And Alicia's oh, not having there it. Alicia is. called the King six six six. And Scott with Scooper. The nut low backdoor flush. He's gonna scoop the high and the low. Shane's gonna be a crying call for half the pot. That's not gonna get there. Hand Scott. My hand, my hand. Chris Moneymaker son. What a lineup. Only missing in Omaha is Hollywood. <laughs> Get out of here, Hollywood. We know it's you. Definitely missing Hollywood. Hollywood's the best. I love Hollywood. I love Hollywood. Love us some Hollywood. I'm still waiting for Hollywood to pull off like the sickest bluff of all bluffs with it. Because with his image, he seems like he, I, mean, I could I could probably fold Kings, you know, in Omaha to, to Hollywood. Yeah, Hollywood's had a lot of really he's made a lot of final tables in the last few months though in tournaments. He's been playing he has. he's been playing really good. Yes he has. Yes he has. <laughs> Dealer getting a little peek at his cards there. Look at Lon with the looking good tonight, style. Little, little Euro style, I like it. T Life Daily Vlogs, what's up, Tyler? Tyler, what up? Uh, Ozzy's gonna open up the pot for two bets here. King eight four double king eight four deuce double suited. It's looked up by A Train and Sally. And King ten five two diamonds. A Train and Ozzy have diamond draws. Sally's got the Broadway straight wrap. This is a perfect flop for these three hands. All three players connected in a big way. Oz is continuing. And there's the card. Diamond on the turn hits Ozzy and A Train. And also brings in the low draw. Ozzy's as open ended to. Uh, or no, well, that's irrelevant. He does have a, low, a wheel draw. Board pairs. So there's no possible low. A train's nut flush is gonna take this whole whole pot down. Where we go, check check. Check check. <laughs> oh, this game's too much fun. Game over, man. What's up? Welcome to the stream. It is the Veronica and Friends. Normally, we were playing the Big One Three. Tonight, it is some um, eight sixteen oh eight. Beautiful game. I 
chips. I have still not played a game with the orange chips yet. Is this the only game that they use for these chips? I think so. Yeah. Dude, you gotta get in the game. It's so much fun. It feels so, just so perfect. Yeah. Brand new chips. I can't believe Stones has been open for three and a half years now. It doesn't feel like... Has it been that long? It's been three and a half years. Oh my yeah. god. I was just thinking about that with the chips were brand new not that long ago. It feels like yesterday, man. It's, it's crazy. DT Dr. Pepper, Dr. Prepper, I should say. I've never seen a dog at the poker table. <laughs> My friends Albert and Melly, they always bring their big, they got a big chow. They always bring up like big like run it up Reno events and stuff like that. Just have it chill on the poker table. <laughs> it's awesome. It's like dogs in the poker room. Why not? I mean, if we let poker players in the poker room, why not why not dogs, right? <laughs> right. Same same, right? Same same. <laughs> Alright, four ways to the flop. Veronica's got the best of it right now with a pair of kings and straight draw. Checks through turn ace. There is no possible low now. Oh, yes, there is. Excuse me. There is a possible low. Mm -hmm. Scott's got a flush draw, too. He can scoop. There it is. Three makes Scott's low. He's got the nut low. Chop it up. And we're going to chop this pot up. Veronica wins the high. With aces and kings, Scott wins the low with the 2-4. Ace, 2-4, 3-7. Veronica's profile pick there is unnerving. <laughs> I feel like Omaha, I've been, I've been like holding back on saying this, but I think like Omaha high low limit is an easy game. I think it's just an easy game, you know? Like it, I mean, if you, if I could pick a game where I could, like, like, if I had to teach someone that didn't know any game to become a good player at a game fast, I think this is the game I would pick. Really? You know what I mean? It's just, it's, it seems like one of the easier games to me. Maybe. I think it's, it, it's an easy game to understand. I mean, and because I guess you would, like, bet, you'd take it, like, like, bet sizing out of, like, you know, the equation as far as, you know, your thought process and like yeah. that. It, it, it can be mechanical. But there's a lot of, like, little subtleties that people don't think about. And people people still play this game really bad. That's, no, that, that's... Which is another reason why I think it's <laughs> an easy game to <laughs> someone. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe it's just relative to the field. I, that's, I, yeah. that's, that's, I guess that's what I'm... Yeah. Two bets from Veronica. Ace, ace, queen, four. Good Very starting, nice starting hand. hand. Yep. Getting some loose action here. Alicia with the E66 deuce, three spades. Scott, Ace Jack 10, nine, double suited. Great hand for PLO. I was gonna say, great starting hand for Omaha High. Still, still functional here, PLO 8. And we get the 789 and Scott flops the show. Not a great board for Veronica with the ace, ace queen four. Yeah, it's just about one of the worst flops ever. Alicia flops the bottom end of it. Uh, this would get her into a lot of trouble. Luckily, she has the six deuce emergency for the low. low draw. Alicia makes it two bets. Shane, whose cards aren't reading, is going to take two cold. Scott. Now, Scott could wait to put in the raise until, you know, the big bet's coming on the turn here, but multi-way. Multi oh, he is. He's just going to call. Consistently having problems the only thing about that, though, any card that doesn't complete a low will make a bigger straight possible, almost. Unless you would uh, well, we need a uh, ace, king, or a queen to come off. She's trying to decide if she wants to continue. She knows this is a bad flop. She does have the ace four for the low. We don't know Shane's hand right now. 
I mean, if, if you're going to fold to one bet to a raise, why lead anyway? I just, I, just, I think that's going to hand Veronica is going to, you know, look back at and uh, want to change her flop play there. It's killing me not to chance cars on my hat. Right? Shane's probably got a, if I had put money on Shane's got a set. Now, here comes a big bet from Scott. Two bets to go. Alicia's going to make the call. And I don't see how, if, if Shane does have a set here, he's got a call. The only problem is the board, a low already is completed there. Shane could just have the ace deuce here as well. Shane could just have ace deuce xx. Yeah, I'd be pretty surprised if A train takes this low here. I'd have to imagine Shane probably has a better low. Except unless he was just drawing to uh, to pair the board here. As it is, A train six deuce as it shows will take the low if Shane can find a fold here and or doesn't have a, a better qualifying low if he makes a call. Wow, there it is. And uh, chop, chop it up. It up. Oh, and Alicia mucks her hand. She mucked? She just mucked her hand? Yes, Alicia mucks. Ugh, oh, she forgot we're playing high-low. It happens. It happens. It happens. <laughs> Threw away half of a oh, like a 4K pot yeah. <laughs> in PLO8 oh one time. I, during, I mean, I mean, the entire I mean, I mean, I had like 60% of the deck for high, and then back into some like really you know tech shitty qualifying low. And, didn't really, and when it goes to showdown, I'm just like, how you were just did I miss, high. How did I miss? I mean, I'm literally like running through the deck. I got like almost every card in the deck. I had like like two flush draws and like two straight draws, which is insane. And I technically had a qualifying low and the other guys had like two pair like wins for high. I'm just like in disbelief and I mucked my hand. When did and you realize it right away? It right away. Well, as soon as, then, as, soon as uh, they, thankfully the, the players were, the players let me muck my hand. They let me play bad. So no one no one no one spoke of said, oh do you have a low which you know you shouldn't do. Right so soon, as soon as my card looked and they said oh I'm like I'm like you uh, you had a low and I'm like oh crap you know and it's done. But yeah, uh, threw away like half of a four K. Throw away two thousand dollars. No yeah, deals. I've done deal. worse. <laughs> Face up, always face up. Yeah, when in doubt, table your hand. Let the dealer help you read, make sure you know, just just in case. This game, you know, there's so many cards, so many you know things in, in play here. It can get confusing at times. If you have any question at all, just table your hand. So let's say they're bringing it back here, and Veronica is straddling. Here we go. I like that Veronica's back in, you know, back to whaling here. <laughs> I, I, I do. <laughs> she, she ran better when she whaled it up. She really did. <laughs> Whale it up. Uh, Game Lord Ring says, oh, it is great. People play like blank, and the variance gets smoothed out by the fractional pot. I think there's a good argument there. And this is helping. Wine Wednesday, everyone. Yeah. Smash it up. Someone get the dealer a glass of wine. Let's make that happen. I think if you're dealing like the live stream game, you should be able to have a drink. I mean, dude, if you're going to put up with the, with the noise that these players, I'm sure, are making, and all the shenanigans at the table, you should be able to sit there and like have a drink. <laughs> That's right. She took her straddle off. She somehow heard your comment in the future at the moment. <laughs> Master C's got a whole damn bottle of, looks like, of champagne or wine to himself there. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's always a good sign at the poker table. That's right. And someone's got a bottle. Drinking games are always the best games for multiple reasons. Wow, look at this. Some Scott and Jeff have three diamonds in their hands. Somehow two diamonds still flop. Queen on the turn. Scott now turns the absolute nut straight. Did it bring in a second flush draw? No, it did not. Alex uh, Lawn also has the nut straight. Here we go. Scott is going to be on a free roll here. And Lawn correctly just calls you, realizing that he could be getting free rolled. Safe river card. Lawn bets. No possible low. And Lawn says, all right, I'll cut the four play and just table our hands. Chop, chop. The voice of poker, Lawn McCarran. Chopping up pots here at Stone's Gambling Hall. We love it. <laughs> this is a great game. I'm on the list. I hope. Are I you hope, really? Yeah, I hope I get a chance to get in. I'm looking forward to it. Nice. Um, we might even open up a feeder game. I'm not. I'm not sure. The problem is, I, think, I don't know if we have enough tables for a feeder game. I know the list is long enough, and there's enough people here that are trying to get into this game. But I think. I mean, every like, every single table in the house is taken up right now, either by the quantum tournament or by one of our cash games. Bunch of big one threes, two five. It's playing like a five ten. All of it. It's good for you. Day train's gonna come along here with a nine four three deuce. We're only giving Scott a little help to get <laughs> getting his cards in the reader. And we're gonna go four way to the flop here. Ace, ace, ten. Nice to see with the only ace. Probably just going to take this down right here. Oh. Two aces on the board. Lawn feels that it's unlikely for someone to have an ace. Might be more so true in Hold'em and Omaha. Not so a little optimistic. Turn five of clubs. Alicia, who's calling for backdoor low, also picks up backdoor clubs. Perfect card for Alicia. Has a wrap on the low and a flush draw. River card already came out. Was the deuce. Alicia makes wow. the wheel. She makes the wheel. And she gets the scooper. <laughs> oh she's, my But gosh. she's got a table in her hand. And she's just playing nice here and decides to check. Oh, and Master he, he, C showed Master a card. C's, Master C's betting. Backdoor scoop a loop. <laughs> oh my goodness. What? Why didn't how did Master Sleep get I'm not sure how what who read the board misread the board there. They gave him half the pot? They gave Master C half the pot. He didn't boat up. No. <laughs> what the heck's going on? They missed that Alicia had a wheel. They read that, okay, yeah, you have a low. They missed that she made a straight. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see her. He got half the pot. He got half the pot. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> 
And Master C's in the chat. What do you think about that, buddy? And I'd be high-fiving people, too, if I took half the pot that wasn't mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do we got here? Easy game, right? We have a live 8, a dead 16, 12, 20. Holy hell. So we've got a quadruple straddle. It, is, quadruple. it, is, it is capped out now dark. Well, you're allowed five four raises. I think you can still raise after this. I'm not positive. One, two, three, four. I think it's capped, right? Is it? Yeah. One, two, three, four. So we're just going to start it off dark capped? Well, no, because when someone straddles, you're allowed to put in a fifth bet. So I don't know if that counts as a raise. Okay, so someone can still raise right now. I'm not positive. I think you, I think you can. Four straddles. This is a good game. We're <laughs> <laughs> probably going to take my seat for a little bit and I can play our stack for a little bit, right? And Scott's trying to figure out just how impossible it is for Jack Jack 9 3 to get there. Yeah, it's five bets. <laughs> this is going to be a five. very, very big pot. This is going to be by far the biggest pot of the night so far. Five bets pretty. This could be the biggest pot of the night. And Veronica, pretty good hand here. Ace, king, ten, deuce. Three broadways, a suited king, and ace, deuce. Master C, ace, ace, queen, three. Queen, nine, seven. Checking through here, we don't can't see what Shane has. Jeff's in the hand as well, can't see his cards. Omaha players are creatures of habit, <laughs> as all, as are all poker players. And how people hold their cards, especially like in an Omaha game or any poker game for that matter, is something you can't break them up. You tell them, okay, put your cards in the reader, and they just naturally want to hold their cards up, they want to hold their cards off, off the reader. And with all that money in the pot, you can bet four chips. Eight dollars. There's two eighty in the pot and you can bet eight. <laughs> what can you fold at this point? <laughs> like... Oh, Sally finds a fold. Wow. I can't believe we're eight four four four. She put in the last straddle free. That's a hand you could probably find a fold with. Yes. Turn nine. A train makes the bottom into the straight as well as picks up the nut low draw. Probably gonna bet here. Veronica also picks up the nut low draw. She's got King Ten. She can make a bigger straight with a jack. She can. She can scoop. Shane puts in two bets. Shane's got Jack-10 and Jack-10 only here. Yeah. And there we go. A-Train and Veronica are going to chop the low, and more than likely Shane's going to win the high here, I'm imagining. And Veronica's going to try to get in the check raise on Shane, try to bring everyone else in the pot. Alicia bets her low. Look how big this pot is. We're approaching five hundred dollars here. Two bets from Shane. Ah, oh, how beautiful is here if you have the old Jack Ten Ace Deuce. Veronica should just call the old Jack Ten Ace Deuce. All oh, right. <laughs> Although you can't, because all the aces are gone. Master C is not called yet. So it looks like. Uh, more than likely here, Veronica and A-Train are going to quarter this. Yep. Shane's going to take half. And actually, they're all going to make a, a, a small amount of money here. 
Minus whoever gets scooped or whoever loses. It was a Master C gets none of it. Master C gets none of it. Yeah, Master C gets none. So, A Train and Veronica are going to get a quarter of a four way pot. So they don't lose any money there. So, you also they pick up all that, a quarter of all the money that was put in pre that people folded. Shane taking the high with the old Jack 10. Jack 10, nice. How beautiful is that for Shane? You put your hand, you put all the money in dark, and you flop just a magical flop for your hand. Right. Backdoor flush draw, bottom two, open end straight draw. Nice. What a hand. God, I'm getting Snapchats from Veronica. <laughs> I can only imagine what the hell this is. And the top of Mashasee's tower has been taken off. So no quadruple straddle this hand. It's a good pot. Oh man. Oh god, the straddles are oh god here, they're straddling again. So there's a straddle and a double straddle, looks like. Or a dead, dead range, should I say? I think, I, yeah. We really call it a triple straddle. There's no way someone doesn't open the pot here for four bets. You have to, over, over three dead hands, or four blinded hands. And Sally, Sally's got the right perfect now, hand four, to raise. Four bets. Ace, king, queen, three, raise it up. Four bets. Raise it up to 32. Get him, Sally, get him. She just calls? Just calls. And Mr. Jeffrey Sardella, Oh, There's yeah. the hand. That is, is two, three, four with a suited ace. That is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Omaha high, high low hand. Ace two three four with the ace three of diamonds. And there it is. And we're gonna go four ways here. Five ways. Five goes. Jack, Jack nine, nine nine. Master C flops trip nines here. Also has an inside straight draw. And more importantly, there's no no possible low possible low. low. So Jeff's hand just turned to shit. Yeah. <laughs> to put it bluntly. <laughs> to see has a stranglehold on this hand right now. Shane's calling with a jack 754. Lock the doors. <laughs> 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 oh goodness. <laughs> Turn deuce and watch someone's gonna draw the low. <laughs> Lock the doors. <laughs> Alicia makes jacks and deuces. She's playing jacks and nines, of course, with a king kicker. But if a deuce were to come off, she would boat up. Eight. Take it down. Opening up another bottle of champagne. 
<laughs> this is good. Mass to see with the drive through liquor store. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Here's our current chip counts. And Baldy correct, only a high pot that time, no low. Once immediately hits three cards above a nine on the flop, there will be no possible low. Straddle in place. Yeah, for there to be a qualifying low hand, there has to be three cards on the board, eight or lower. Three different cards, should I say? Ace through eight. Sally Limpson Queen Queen 6 7. Hoping to overset someone. Veronica's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> There's a casino down in SoCal I played at a lot when I was living down there that had a 4-8 Omaha high-low game, and there was most of the time it would take me a little while to get into no limit games, but I'd always hop into that game right away and while I'm waiting for limits. It's, it's a, so much fun. It's a good warm. It's kind of become my morning routine here. Where I get I get to hear the like there's an Omaha game open, warm up there a little bit before I go play some you know, big bet poker. Yeah. But uh, it's fun, you know. Oh, it's a lot. Loosens of fun. you up. Is that Bill Perkins doing the cards? Sure is. <laughs> Here we go. Eight ways to the flop. Eight, five, king, rainbow. to see the case 10 on the turn turns the set of 10s against Veronica's top two. Really bad turn card for Veronica. And Shane puts in the raise. God, it's killing me not to see Shane's hand here. Does he possibly have a set? He could be raising like ace some kind of diamond diamonds. Yeah, some kind of diamond draw. I mean, the ace, Lawn ace. has the ace of diamonds though, so he can be raising nut diamonds and ace deuce. He can have two pair, like king eight of diamond, the like king eight ace deuce. King eight of diamond. I mean, I'm really reaching here. Like fives. And three bets for Master C. Shane's just going to call. Scott's looking for that open ender. Any card 9 through ace makes Scott Broadway. The 4 is not going to do it. It does complete the low. Also, 6 7 makes it straight now. So, Shane. Let's see if Shane has a low hand here. I'm guessing he does. Slides out of bat. Maybe he has the old 6-7 of diamonds? <laughs> set of eights. Oh, set of eights. Does he have a low? Mm, 
No, he does not. He actually had Kingy. And Master C's gonna scoop it with a set of tens. King nine eight eight. Wow. to see rolling up very nice Rolled up. <laughs> now getting Veronica snapshot of the dog of Chachi <laughs> We're having too much fun out there <laughs> Beast OR says raises with no low draw. Nice play, dude. <laughs> and Bali says, yeah, I'm gonna avoid this game unless we're playing for sunflower seeds. It's such a fun game to learn. <laughs> Long limps in with ace, ace, eight, four. He'd prefer to have his ace as suited, of course. That's probably why he's not racing here. Ace is unimproved in Omaha. Oftentimes, especially high low, have to be folded. Not only do they not stand for the high that often, we can't, I mean, it's really hard to make a low. His best chance to win the pot is actually hopefully catch a deuce three type board. Where he's just drawn to a nut low and has to do a qualifying high hand. King Jack 7, two clubs. A train flops bottom two pair with a straight draw. Long's gonna put out a bet. It's a call from A train and Shane. Deuce on the turn. Good card for Lawn. Brings in a heart draw for him as well as he picks up a second out low draw. Yeah, it's a perfect turn card for Lawn. Mind you, also with two aces in his hand, it's unlike anyone else to have a hand like ace three here. So Lawn really sh should be treating his hand like a not low draw. Ten is not going to do it though. Train gets the A train gets the straight. And there is no love. Juan's doing the old, I know I'm beat, but there's 120 out there. It's a living game, should I call? Uh, no, I should not. Good fold, Juan, good fold. At least it takes on the pot. Unless you're a knit, the goal is to win a quarter of the pot. <laughs> yes. Keep playing for quarters until you accidentally scoop. Excellent strategy, I love it. <laughs> on the back of the guy's jacket or the leather jacket here almost looked like a ponytail. I thought it was like Skinny Top Brunson. <laughs> skinny Top Brunson. That's hilarious. Jeff 
Ace, nine, eight, deuce with a suited ace. Limps along. Veronica comes on with queen, eight, eight, deuce. Now I know she's drunk. She also has that. She also has that smile on her face where she's like trying to act sober. I've known Veronica long enough, and I, I got pretty good reads on her. She's and they, she's like, like just like just be cool, just be cool. No one will know that I'm drunk. No one will know. No one. Will if I just make this like flat like mouth smile, I'll be fine. <laughs> Flop quads for Lawn McCarran. Wow. And, and there's no possible low, so Lawn is scooping the spot. Unless no, there's no there's no possible scoop flush draw. Both Sally and Jeff have flush draws that are no good. As there's Everyone, Alicia. Checked. Everyone checked. And now Atrian turns a, uh, turns a straight with her flush draw. Obviously, she's just completely dead. Lawn puts out a bet. Let's see if Atrian decides to raise or not. Razan. Can't see Ozzy's cards. He makes a call, as does Alicia. I wouldn't fold Alicia's hand if I had it. I've turned it straight. I have a redraw. Definitely not raising. Jeff comes along with a nut flush draw. Oh, and she has the she has the royal flush draw. I didn't see that. She has the back. She had the back door royal flush draw there. I didn't see that until just now. Queen of diamonds on the river one time. Oh wow! Oh wow! Alicia did a double. <laughs> wow! Oh my God! So sick. King of spades, complete spades. And Jeff has the nut flush. But here's the thing, if someone has an ace jack, they do not have a full house necessarily. Have to play two old cards. Whee! And Lon doesn't even have to show those two cards. Oh, there it is. Lon McCarran in the house. Yeah, oh, that's a big turn card for Alicia. She turns a straight double flush draw with an inside to the Royal. And you're drawing a one out. <laughs> so sick. <laughs> we have a made straight into flush draw, so we only have one out. That was a sick one. Sick if they're ricking the Queen of Diamonds right there. Oh my god. That raise, re raise, re raise. That'd have been an Omaha jackpot, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Quads beaten by Royal Flush. Quad Jacks beaten by Royal Flush. What is the qualifying Omaha jackpot here? Quad eights. Quad eights beaten. I believe. One card away from the jackpot on the live stream. The oh, yeah. Yeah. So he's got a bunch of limpers. And Scott puts in uh, two bets with the ace, ace, eight, three. Aces, suited ace, ace wheel card. Definitely worth an open. And top set for Scott. Flush draws for Lawn and Master C. Lawn, oh, I'm sorry, Master C. I was I love Master C's hand with the, the 954 deuce. Right? Two hearts, not low. Definitely calling are we racing? What? What? What the, what the heck's going on? What is going on? I don't know what the heck. My head what the just, hell is my, my, head, my head just exploded. I, I can't commentate for another 15 minutes. Everyone, please give me a minute. <laughs> 
We have Deuce Four of Hearts in our hand. And a pair. We can make some weird back row Bodhi hands when it happens. Hearts come th come off. Completes he, he, a low. He has, he has the not low. He got the not low. Four deuce. Second not low. Excuse me. Second not low. Still. And 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 a pretty good or and a qualifying high. We have, we have a flush here. Now obviously it's no good to long flush. Another heart comes off. So Scott and Jeff are going to win the quarter of the pot. Lon's going to win. Takes half of the queen high flush. Takes that. Takes half of it. And Master C. <laughs> So I gotta agree with you. We're gonna start playing to pick a game to play. This is it, the game. It, this is the game. Hi ya. Yeah, I guess that's what I was trying to say. It's not necessarily the easiest game, period. But I feel like there are a lot of mistakes made all the time in this game. Veronica is just completely amused with Chachi. Matt Holt's calling now railing the game. Trying to figure out how he, how he can wiggle himself into this 816. This is the way you dumping someone's fully induced for hearts. How do I get in this game? <laughs> She's now backing up Azan. Doesn't want to be associated with Veronica. <laughs> Can't literally blame him. To be fair, Master C is on his 19th bottle of champagne. Yes. So. Right. I mean, if he's, he's, he's an awesome guy. He came over here to the booth and talked to us for a minute before, and super friendly, super great awesome, guy. Super brought, awesome us, guy. brought us beer. He, attempt, he attempted to give us a beer that we could drink yes. here on the set. Unfortunately, we cannot. I mean, if we all roll back through and think of the worst things we've done on a couple bottles of champagne. I mean, I'm making a bad fold. It, it, it's <laughs> like toward the bottom. That's like, that's like number 97. <laughs> right. Maybe 197. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the things I've done. Uh. <laughs> I can't even go yeah, there. Yeah, let's, let's not go there. All right, so back to the auction. <laughs> Goodness. Ace, Jack, 10, couple of spades. Sally's got a queen eye spade draw. Scott calls it Jack, 954. Interesting. Turn six. The dog is on the table. It's just a big home game. Uh, Sally makes eights and sixes. For the scoop. scoop oh no, Scott's got the 5-4. Yeah, Scott's got 5-4 oh, yeah, low. 5-4 low. low. low, two pair high. Chop, chop. Yes, Veronica has a fanny pack. I'm, I'm afraid, I mean, do I dare ask, are fanny packs making a comeback? I attempted to bring the fanny pack back in 2014, and that was a... The world, we weren't ready for it yet? The world was not ready for it yet, no. I, I saw a couple people wearing fanny packs. <laughs> a couple players that play poker here wearing fanny packs. I'm like, dude, I keep all my stuff here. I, got all my, I just keep white chips in here in case I need to rebuy. And I'm like, all right, man, I don't know how, how I feel about this, but it, it, <laughs> it's a thing. The fanny pack. That fanny pack, though. Yeah, the world is not quite ready for the fanny I don't think the world ever is ever going to be ready for the fanny pack. No. So. But at the same time, it's, we're just not ready to let it go either. It's like I, I think it's kind of awesome. It's kind of silly. It's kind of retarded, but it's also kind of awesome. It's kind of a shtick, but it's also kind of like, yeah. yeah. You're like you're wearing like, oh, this is so funny, but also like love it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Poker pro Eric in the chat here to troll us all. 
God, my head already hurts. Now, Poker Pro Air, God damn it, I don't even know. <laughs> Coach Rufy, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. During the uh, last stream I was doing, Poker Pro Air's in chat. You know what I should call with a hand? It was, oh, it depends on your range, your position, who the dealer is. And I'm like, what, who, what do you mean it depends on who the dealer is? You know, because there's like lucky dealer. And I'm like, oh, God damn it. Like, <laughs> I, I lost it. I just, I don't know. I don't know on what level he's trolling or what level he really is that guy who believes, you know, in setup changes and lucky dealers. And I don't know. I just don't know sometimes. <laughs> Veronica's gonna limp in the King King 10 5. Got a dangler. 5 isn't doing anything for her hand. But she's able to overset someone with the Kings. She can also make a flush with the King 10. And straight as well. Shaniac. King 886. I think he's getting like second hand, you know, silly from he's sitting next to Master C. Who, and Majesty, by the way, made it two bets to go with 975 Trey. This is the greatest Omaha game that's ever been played. Law and wow. Ace King D. Ace King And does not put in a third bet. Wow. Interesting. Seven seven three Master C Ma must know something that we don't know. And he opens because he pot. opens with 9753 and just flops the nutter butters. Jesus. And now gives a speech. What is that? <laughs> what kind of flop is that? What is that? <laughs> Lawn leads. He's got the nut low draw, and on seven seven three, aces are going to be good a pretty good percentage of the time. Queen comes off, brings in a flush draw that also hits master C. It doesn't really matter. He's already voted up. And master C has shown the five of diamonds face up right now. Wow, we are showing cards. This is wonderful. And Shane is still getting sticky with the King 886. Has to see better hope a diamond does not come on the river because then. Okay, there we go. Deuce counterfeits Lawn's low draw. Shane's 6 8 is going to qualify for low here. Here's okay. Shane's getting nuts with the King 886, it seems like. But if you know that Master C is playing hands like, I mean, 9753. I mean, you're going to keep pace with him, I guess. Lawn calls off of the aces. So, Master C is going to take half the pot for the high with the 7-3, and Shane's going to take half the pot for the low with the 6-8. And I think Master C is slow rolling. All right. He might not have looked at his hand. He really... <laughs> He did look at his hand. This makes sense. 6 8 low. And we're good. That might explain Shane's action there. If he knew that Master C had not looked at his hand. Sick game. Sick game. <laughs> Jesus. The old 6-8 low call. Ship I mean, I guess if, you, if a player shows you the, the 5 and you know he hasn't looked at his cards, on 7-7-3, seven, seven, what does he really connect with? Parker didn't have a 7, even though we knew he had the whole show. But I mean, you can have an ace, a 4, a 6, or an 8. But this has got a pocket pair bigger, bigger you know, 9s plus. And mind you, he just, he's playing random cards. He hasn't looked, we're assuming. I guess you can say, like, hey, if I got a 6-8 qualifying low, either one way or the other, my hand's going to be good. Either my pocket 8s might be good for high, and or my 8-6 might qualify, might get there for yeah. low. It's going to be hard for me to get scooped against a guy who's not looking at his cards. I'm going to play devil's advocate here. I'm kind of reaching. Yeah, but, yeah. I know, yeah. But if a guy has looked at his cards, he shows you a five. I mean, you're like, all right, I'm just going to run this guy down. <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting one. That X factor of someone not looking at their cards always 
spins your mind in a spot like that. Train limps in out of the gun with Ace King 6 3 double suited. Massa C 2 3 4 5. Love that hand from Omaha High Low here. And we got two bets. Veronica's saying, hold on, guys, I have a dog in my lap. I don't give a crap about book right now. <laughs> she calls. Two bets, seven ways. God bless poker. Six, six, four, eight train loving life. Nice low, low draw with these three. And Master C's got a straight wrap. Yep. Zon who called the King Jack Jack Eight, knowing that Master C's playing a lot of cards right now, picks up a flush draw to go along with Zobra Pair. And he does not want to see that spade at the river. More than likely we will not see a spade. Look at all those spades all the players are holding. Mm -hmm. Ten, but no one's got one. And Master C or no. A train. A train's gonna scoop. Take the whole thing down. Yep. With trip sixes. Veronica's trying to pour Chachi a glass of wine. That's what a lot of people also don't realize in this spot is that she does not have a full house. She has to play both of her whole cards. She has trip sixes with an ace ten kicker. Azana is thinking about heroing here with Jax. He hates it. He does. It's too many sixes, Ozzy. And Alicia's rubbing it in. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a good game. Two hundred fifty dollar pot. Pots get big in this game. Yeah. I mean, no one really lost their mind. I mean, there wasn't a lot of any raising really going on in any one street there. There's multi-way action. Eight and sixteen dollars at a time. What are they doing over there? Oh my god. And hear the live action going on. It's, it's insane over there. Lock the doors. Lock the doors. <laughs> So oftentimes here on Stones Live, when we get a deal change, we'll do a bomb pot. I'm curious to see if they're going to do anything here. If they're all like, you know, hey, we'll all put in four small bets, and then... I don't think they haven't, they haven't so far on a couple of the dealer changes, so I don't think they are. That'd be perfect here for a Omaha game. Right? Call me Joker in the chat. What's up, buddy? Azan Googling Drunk Omaha for Dummies on his phone. Between playing a serious card game and playing and playing drunk home games, a whole different strategy. Karen, the voice of the World Series of Poker. 
wrecking the 816 here at Stones. Nice to see wrecking the champagne industry. <laughs> Master C found a cookie and found a fold all at the same time. I'm impressed. Shane, A743, three diamonds. It's good to limp in. Azan's in the hand as well, Roy. His cards have been picked up by the reader yet. 10 10 3. Veronica's up now flush draw, but the board is already paired. Only one card under an 8. I'm going to check the Shane. Now we see the Zon's hand. Put in two bets. That's all the move, V. Figures that Shane doesn't have a 10. There's no low draw, and she can get him off. If Veronica had a dollar for every time, or if she had a two dollar chip for every time that she stopped herself, I can get him off. Wow. Sure. <laughs> sure. Took me a second. Took me well, a second. she's not here right now, so someone's got to like <laughs> tell stupid jokes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> and I'll be here all week. Hold the applause. Hold the yeah. applause. Crickets. Crickets. <laughs> Straddle's back on. Players are trading cards. At some point, they're just gonna adopt like all wacky home game rules and start like passing cards back and forth. Like, okay, <laughs> you gotta like pass one to your left. <laughs> And then you gotta pass one to your right on the turn. He's got three bets in there somehow already under the gun. <laughs> and he says, if any of you guys just call, I'm going to raise. Everyone's just calling. Any <laughs> <laughs> of you just call them raising? I think that's what they're counting on, Master C. There it is. Alicia Jason's. will oblige. He says, okay, cap it. He says, Master C says, cap it. I'm pretty sure he has not looked at his cards. He has not. He, he has not looked he at his cards. He has not looked at his cards. And we're cap free flop. Here we go, another big pot. Seven seven. We can't see A Train's cards. There they are. Now we see her hand. She's got the best of it right now with a pair of jacks for the high.
checks through in a wow. miracle car for A Train. She was ahead already. And Massa C. Open in at straight jaw, there's going to be no bueno if he hits calls. Looks like we're going to go heads up to the river. Oh, I can see Scott's car there as. There he is. He's also got an open ender. Train's gonna win the spot. Looks like Masses is calling blind. He still has not looked. And he's gonna peel one card at a time and find out his, how, how dead he is drawing. <laughs> it's a weird place when your opponent hasn't looked yet. <laughs> I don't know what Scott's mulling through here. <laughs> and He's going to need to find a seven by his third card. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's going to need to find a seven by this one. Seven. <laughs> it's not there. And Alicia is loving it. Is the chat updated, Master C? I believe so. normal. <laughs> we haven't done anything yet. Straddling now. <laughs> Sally's going to limp in the King 653. She got a sue. As loose as this game's playing, I mean, I guess, but. Hands usually get in a lot of trouble, especially out of position. Three bets from Ozzy. Ace eight's four dudes. Beautiful starting hand. Suited ace, ace dudes. And we got three ways, and it, action's capped. Who capped us? Ozzy raised a 24. Shane made a 32. Shane made a 32. Oh, the uh, Ace-10-9 do stuff suit. And the Falcons, 975. Not low drop for Shane and Ozzy. And Sally's got 51% equity of the high with the 653. Wow. Pair of fives inside straight draw. She can't five, 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 six, eight. No, she can't. Yeah, she can't. She can catch an eight. Three complete hearts. Sally makes two pair. And both Ozzy and Shane make the nut low. Shane makes it two bets. No, it says call 16? I thought he slid up more than that. Yeah, it looks like a raise. It looked like a raise. It was. 
Four and both players make the wheel. Really unlucky river there for Aussie. Three quarters of that good percentage of the time. Poker boss in the chat. What is going on? Sean McCormick. Causing trouble as usual, I suspect. Spinning the wheel. This is this is this is what a live look. This is this is this is what it looks like from Veronica's view right now. <laughs> this is like nine wine glasses in. This is this is actually what she's seeing. I can hear that table all the way over here. Jeff's going to love in the ace 10 9 deuce. Aussie should be calling here as well. I know he missed two bets with the ace 7 3 3. Got a suited ace. Three bets from Shane. Ace King Deuce Deuce. And four bets makes it complete. And here we go. Actions cap pre, five ways to the flop. Ace nine seven, two hearts, Aussie pair of aces, and the nut heart draw. Also flops top two. Great flop for Azan. Azan also has two threes in his hands. It's going to be hard for anyone else to have. Three deuce. Yeah, oh God, what a beautiful flop for Azan. He's going to make it two bets to go here. Jeff led into him with top two. Jeff's got ace nine. At least he's got the best low draw here with deuce four. And we're going to go... Oh, eight on the turn. A train. Turns the straight with the five six. And picks up a flush draw. Backdoor well. flush draw. Best low draw best. and makes a straight. Wow. <laughs> on the magical turn. Wow. Eight of clubs. Wow. Now, Jeff, he does pick up an open in straight draw to the big straight. But he's gonna have a lot of dirty outs on a double on a double flush board. Yeah, he's looking for a six or a jack that's not a club or a heart. Or an ace or a nine. And there it is, There's Aussie. A heart. It does make Alicia the nut low, however. Alicia's four deuce is the nut low. Aussie makes a nut high. And they're gonna chop up. Everyone else's money.
Oh, the river was a four of hearts? I thought it was a three. Did I misread that? So Jeff gets the low with his live deuce. Oh, Ozzy has a three of hearts. Uh, all right. Trust the graphics. Zeno 11, Ozzy wins a high with an up flush, and Jeff takes a low with the live deuce. Yeah, I misread that board. Yeah, I did too. I thought, oh, I thought the three came off in the river. I don't know why, but Ozzy had the three of hearts in his hand. Looks like we're going eight ways to the flop on this one. Five deuce, yeah, 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 still, yeah. The five deuce that Alicia had should have been better, right? Alicia, yeah, Alicia had five, still, Alicia was playing the five. Did she get shorted out of two low pots, out of, out of two pots tonight? We know the one with Master C that went to showdown. But even then, her five, her five deuce, and she tabled it, that beats... Uh, Jess, Jess, Jess is playing the, uh, Jess playing the seven. Or, uh, I think I can look at the board. Nine, seven, eight, three. Yeah, Jess playing an eight. She's playing a seven high. She's, she has a seven, she has a seven, a seven low. He has an eight low. The other half pot should have gone, yeah, should have gone to Alicia. So, the she, five she, so she did get the... She should have. She didn't. Jeff, Jeff should have got any of the pot. Interesting. We gotta take a look. Take a look back at that. Sorry. Yeah, she has. A, she's playing the seven. Jeff's playing the eight. Are they gonna take care of that? <laughs> Hopefully. Justin. Justin. <laughs> okay. Dealers and players never make mistakes. Next hand. Next hand. Move on. Wall sensor. <laughs> I saw a hand uh, a couple months ago where there was a four, basically someone moved all in on the turn, three people called, and the river came out, and the first player said, I'm all in, without pushing the chips out. Okay. For like three hundred dollars, the next person called and the button called, and the button flipped up the hand and obviously is supposed to get three hundred dollars from the other two players. Yeah. But the chips never got put in, and the dealer just goes, "Here you go. Here's the pot." Scoops the mean pot to the button. No one says anything, and the two players that sh were supposed to ship the three hundred just instantly racked up and walked away from the table. Oh my god. And no one said a word. The dealer didn't realize it, the player didn't realize it, and no one else would tell the table realized it. This wasn't here at Stones, of course, obviously. Yeah, I know. Definitely seen some crazy things before. And look at this. Mass to see. Nut flush. Zeno 11 
why did Veronica choose this game? Because Veronica likes Omaha. She's been, she's been playing a lot of Omaha. She's been working on her Omaha game. And this game's it's a lot of fun to play. Master C's very, very uh, well lubricated at this point, I would say. Yeah. Alicia had, was, was playing the seven. Was playing a, a seven, a seven, six, five, deuce ace. And Jeff, yeah, Jeff's playing so the she, eight. She got robbed right there. She yeah, like second, second time. You can call me Joker. Veronica is very loose. Yes. Like I said, but she did better when she wails off. Tonight at Stones. It is the third flight of the Quantum Tournament. 120 buy in, 10K starting stack, 10% move on to day two, Sunday. Starting tomorrow, it'll be a 240 buy in for a 20K starting stack. 20% will make day two. Cash games are full. And, it, and it's a wine Wednesday. Okay. I still haven't played Big O yet. Hi. Hello. How's this game? It's so good. good. It's really good. So good. Yeah? Uh, I've been really busy out there with the quantum. I believe it. It's pretty crazy. When are you going to play, Jake? I can't play day two. I have, that's the same thing for me. Actually. I have my, I I have my kids two. on. I can't play day two. Oh, I can't I play day two, like, and I want to. gonna miss the guarantee. No, no, no. <laughs> we're we're actually on track to uh, exceed the guarantee by probably forty to fifty thousand. Uh, oh, wow. We've nice. done, we've doubled the numbers on almost every projection we've made so far. So I readjusted the numbers. It's it's looking like a fat price one. And we got two one twenty flights left tomorrow at ten, tomorrow at six, and then the two forty flights Friday and Saturday, plus the nine hundred buy-ins, which I hear a ton of people are interested in. So give me a fat price bull if you're watching. Get down here. Got plenty of time still to register. I like it. All right. Get back to your game, guys. Game on. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, this has been a, it's been a wild game tonight. Veronica bets 16 here. She's got an open and straight draw, flush draw, five deuce low draw. Eight, and, and Veronica makes it straight. Atrian's got the low with the ace. Ace five. four. Ace five, yeah. Ace five low. She bets it, and Atrian folds. Yep. Mass to see in the chat. I'm not sure who's more drunk, me or how drunk I'm trying to get in the table. <laughs> Game over, Mike says, it's you. <laughs> it's, not, it's not even close. It's not oh even close. Oh my god. Um, and Bali, there's been cash games going on all during this tournament series. Like I said, there's enough starting flights spread out where we're still keeping the cash games going. The cash there's, games there's have always, been really good. There's always tables for cash games always. Here at all times.
we go. Six players. Queen nine nine two clubs. Lawn flop. Lawn. Queen's fold. <laughs> the problem is with a nine in his hand, he's blocking anyone from having tricks. There's only one nine left in the deck. And Scott's got it. Scott's got the, the case nine. He bets. Already gonna be no low possible. And he now turns a back to a flush shot. It's obviously no good with his trips. Scott's gonna have to hope he doesn't hit his kicker. And Master C now with the backdoor flush shot as well. Six of diamonds one time. <laughs> oh, that's gross. He wasn't even drawing dead. Yeah. Diamonds get out for Scott and Master C that are no good. And here comes the raise from Long. Master C. With the nut flush. How many times is Lawn raising you without a bow? Like zero, right? I mean, it sucks that we drew to our hand and got there, but now facing a bet and a raise. Yeah, this is a fold. People are, there we go. Great and fold, as, Master C. And as, yeah, splashy as he's been, he's not totally trying to set money on fire. At least not when he's looking at his cards. <laughs> oh, got yeah. him. Got him, coach. <laughs> One oh, time, yeah. right? Right? Yeah, it's twice where Lawn flop base the basic well quad jacks the first time and Queens flop time and actually was not he was not hundred percent going in the room all times. Pretty sick. Oz is going to open up for two bets here. A train, let's get starting in. Ace Queen, Jack three. Shane and Sally come along. Jeff is going to come along out of the small blind. And Lawn's getting too good of a price to fold. Seven-way action on 10 7 four. Two diamonds. Jeff's got a diamond draw. Also has an inside straight draw. Open into straight draw as well. Too many combos. Ozzy turns trip fours now. As does Lawn. Yeah, Lawn. Perfect turn card. And Master C likes Ace Queen Queen Six here. Because reasons, man. 
Sally. Got her ace three low draw. Ozzy will play the king four. He's gonna scoop it. Does she work? No. Just one fanny pack. <laughs> Chachi's not loving Ozzy. I want to get out there and play. This game looks like too much fun. I want to play so bad. Right? That's a nice forky hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Ozzy's like professional modeling picture there. Oh right. Profile pic. Yeah, nice headshot, Ozzy. <laughs> forcefully checking her option. Six, three, Veronica flops the nut straight. Nice. And with the nut low draw. With the nut low draw. And we bet. With the nut low. Oh yeah, and nut, nut low. Nut Sorry. low, nut high. It's always nice to flop. Look at that. 67% to win the high, 94% to win the and low. And she's got the nut flush blocker. And the nut flush blocker. Wow. Living the dream. Not sure what the uh, concern is here. Are they bringing the action back? What are they doing? I don't know what just happened. Turn King, good card for Veronica. Oh, so beautiful. Not high, not low. People still putting money in the pot. She just doesn't want to see a five on the river. Board does pair. But she's never getting scooped here, obviously. Well, she can't. She has the not low. But she's rarely even, rarely even ever getting quartered. Nutted like you read about. And they 
all clap for Veronica <laughs> to finally scoop her first pot. <clears throat> and she knocks over Ozzy's chips. As long as you don't do that to Master C's chips right now, the game can keep, can keep going on. I want to play poker, I want to play poker. I really want to fire the quantum tournament, like, God. I don't know. Uh, I've been thinking about that for the last five minutes. I only hear how much I want to play the 100k. That's a great value. And then it, it hits that price point where, I mean, everyone in the area can play. I mean, it, it, you're not pricing anyone out. No. I mean, there's some 100Ks you know, hey, where people are they're not comfortable firing four or $500 on one single event. Yeah. You know, they want to try the satellite of cheap. At this price point, I mean, everyone gets their shot. Yeah. Everyone really does. And people who just don't want to play through $120, $240 day one can just straight buy for 900 bucks and direct into day two. It really hits the entire market. It's really good. Yep. Chat, how many chips do you get if you buy into day two? You get a hundred thousand in chip. You get a hundred thousand chips for nine hundred dollars, and the blinds are set to start at one thousand, two thousand. So you're coming into the day two with fifty big blinds. Uh, the money does not start on day two until thirty-three percent of the field that started day two is left. So if there are a hundred players to start day two, the money will start at thirty-three. Psychic abilities, we don't know about. Kings and eights are gonna scoop here. Master C forgets he has to table his hand at some point. <laughs> that's, that's a great look. The bottle. Hold the bottle up, <laughs> take a drink, mucking the cards. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Poker Boss, we remember you in the last 2040 game. Gave, gave some good action. See, when you drink it straight from the bottle, though, as long as you still have like a pinky out, you're still classy. That's like the trick. Though. You don't get a port in the wine glass. You still have a pinky out while you're just going straight from the bottle. It's, uh, it's still good. <laughs> Where you and me and Bart Hansen can get his money. Bart sat down in the game and he said he made it 800 bucks in an hour in that 2040 game. It was it was a that was a really good game as well. Yeah, 
And we, I don't know if we were quadruple straddling again, or we just have capped action pre. I got a feeling we'll see by the card quality here what really happened. This, yep. looks, this is more quadruple straddles. Yep. It's five bets pre. It seems reasonable. Because why not? Deuce, three, eight. Scott flops. Middle Block. set. Wow, yeah. Also is blocking top set. Lows are possible. Checks. Wheels possible now as well. Turn is a five, yes, no? Yes. Brings in hearts. Both Sally and Jeff have hearts. As and look at that. Long. Sally has the nuts straight. What's going on? Everyone's just checking? They might have all just decided to like put in five bets and check it down. No. Mass to see bets. What shame calls. On? How did this get checked down? Mass to see turns two pair bets. I don't know, the turn actually went through the turn before you can notice that the river came out. And Sally's gonna scoop this. She's got it all. Scott throws away the set. sitting in C1 and C9 looking at their cards in a way that you can see their hands. <laughs> <laughs> and Master C was. He's calling down without looking. God bless him. God bless his soul. Miss Poker Boss, Shannon McCormick in the chat. What's up? Does this game run of stones? 816? Um, I want to say we run. I know they run 612 every Sunday, and you usually get like two tables of 612. And that 612 will play, I can't, I can't remember, but like the full kill or half kill. So it plays 816 in the same time. It might play full kill, but I think, I'm pretty sure it's half kill. So it's a 612, you usually get two tables, and it'll, 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 it goes at, it goes on weekends. If not, and it goes for sure on Sundays, we usually get a couple tables. Nine four deuce. Lawn's got the nut low draw with his ace three. Top set for A train. And he's showing a card. C actually does have a straight draw here. Checks the A train, she puts in a bet. <laughs> Shane comes along to the ace five low draw. Ten 
10 comes off, and I believe Master C would have made it straight. Yeah, he would have hit the gutter ball. The old 7 8. Set of nine's good. And that's a scooper. Master C finally finds a fold and gets there. <laughs> Time means everything. And the second tier of the castle has been relocated uh, to the bottom. Probably smarter. Loose money in poker room right now. Yeah, it's, it's a ton you of, can like, just tell. You know, look around at these tables. There's a lot of really good games right there. Last couple times I come in here in the morning, there's been a 1-3 and I was looking for the night before. Uh, so I come in on Sunday morning. Sunday morning? Monday morning. What day is it today? Monday morning. I came in Monday morning and there's a, there was a big 1-3 that was still here at like 9.30 that had started up at like 6 o'clock the night before. And we'll put it this way. I mean, there were a couple players that were playing that game that normally play like, like 5, 10, 10, 20, no limit, that were parked in the 1-3 because the game was that good. There was a guy that still had like a 4K stack at 9.30 the next morning. It was good. Wow. Games have been, and, and that game's still kind of half-bleeding going. Players coming in and out. It's good. Thanks. We got a straddle, and now it's been popped up by Scott. Looks like we're going to have a six-way pot going here. Master C has readjusted his tower to now be back on three tiers. Ace, Jack, four, Rainbow. Not low draw for Shane. Jeff as well. As well, yeah. He's actually got two, two wheel draw there. Wheel draw. And the five would be big cards, and then Shade makes it straight to the six. But Jeff's got the low, like like you said, on absolute lockdown, uncounterfeitable. Yeah, okay. Jeff's, Jeff's hand is super nice with this. He's got the vector spade draw. He's already got a pair of jacks. It's an uncounterfeitable draw, but money. You still got to get there first. You still got to have a card come off <laughs> under the eight. Not guaranteed. Especially when there's a lot of low cards that have already been taken out of the deck. Yeah. Comes the ten on the it's ten on the turn. Right. Nine river and it's just like it all goes to hell. Three bets here on the flop. Four bets. Actions capped. Queen of spades on the turn. Jeff picks up the backdoor flush draw. He comes out swinging. So he bricks out as the queen comes off. And Lawn with a pair of aces and a king kicker. Oh! <laughs> but Jeff's blunt force trauma keeps betting. And he gets Lawn thrown away. Oh. And the bluff gets through. Sick. So sick. Mr. Jeff Sardell. Bluffs do work in limit games. Well, he's, I mean, it's so it's so hard to bluff in this game because you, know, you that, can't like bomb the pot. Right. But you always assume everyone's value betting and no one's bluffing ever. And to some degree, sometimes it's easier to get bluffs through in this game. 
And when that size of pot, when have you ever seen anyone throw away a pair when they're you know for uh, one eight dollar bet? You know, no one's ever doing it. No. But in this game, we're like, okay, well, no one ever bluffs, so I just save the money and it folds. Nice hand, Jeff. Wow. Sick. show the bluff because it's good for the game I actually have a, a guy that I just started coaching who's easily the most advanced player I've ever coached he plays for a living and plays actually pretty high stakes and uh, we were talking about that this week when I was coaching him he said he shows every single bluff really he shows every single bluff wow and he probably bluff you know, like, you know, he, like you said he probably bluffs Four, five, six times every session over an eight-hour session, you know. Yeah. And uh, he just shows every single block. <laughs> sick. That is sick. And he obviously claims that it's a great thing. He's rarely gonna bluff big twice. Yeah, yeah. So, can, but you know, it gets their curiosity going just enough to where uh, you might get some uh, bigger value that's paid off. Bluff once, get paid off five times. People start seeing the payoff, payoff, payoff. Oh, here's the bluff again. Payoff, payoff, payoff. Interesting. And looks like we're going to go eight ways to the flop. Everyone minus Jeff. Scott raises to 16 with the ace king 7 4. Master C throws it away. <laughs> <laughs> that should be his profile pick right there. So <laughs> right? Rewind that and take a shot of that. Too good. Jack Jack 3. And look at that. Our second flopped quad jacks of the night. Oh my god. Lon had it earlier. Shane now. Notice how disinterested Shane is like, in the look right now. Definitely gotta check this. Now we're bringing a low draw and a club draw. Shane can now start hunting for some value. with the back door, nut flush draw, and the ace five low draw. It's gonna bet out. A train calls with the ace deuce low draw. Here comes the raise from Shane with the quads. Praying to God that the river is a three and eight or a nine or higher. on the river. It's a big card. Good for Shane. Unfortunately, it's not a club. It's going to be hard for him to get anything out of anyone else. Yeah, I expect this to go check, check that. Full full.
wanna play poker. I no longer want to talk about poker. I want to play. Right. Threw myself on the list of the app. Nice. Refresh. Raises it up with Queen Jack 10 10. Really nice, really nice Omaha high hand. Shane's in, Sally's in. Jeff is definitely in. Poker boss. Thanks for stopping by. Five deuce four, Veronica. Pocket tens with the diamond draw. hits the jack and actually pulls a head for high here. She also still has the diamond draw. Still commentating. Rivers a three. Shane and Sally are going to chop this pot. So current chip stacks. You're on the list for this game? I am on the list for the game. Nice. How long is the list? Let's find out. We'll do the stones out. And we got more double and triple straddles going on. So there's five bets in the pot already. What? Why did it do that? Put me up as a call-in, Gary. God damn it. And this. 18. I'm fifth on the list. Nice. 18 on the list. If there was more tables available, we'd have a second game right now. Bets in pre. And here Lots we go. Of action. Lot of action. And Veronica's at 9943. Dear God. <laughs> she is. Oh, God. She is Moby Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Someone's gonna fight Force Paints, please. No one. Damn. Wow, no one has a flush. Lon's well, got the blocker. Pot. It's gonna check through. No. No, Scott Betts. And Jeff calls H Jack five. Oh, he's got the Ace Deuce. Yeah, he's got the Ace Deuce. No, what a draw. Veronica's gonna take the or Azan takes the courtesy of mucking Veronica's cards for her. Like <laughs> quit putting in five bets with two nines in your hand. She'll look back at this and then reconsider that she's been working on her OA. Turn eight. Master Satan folded would have made two pair here. Lawn eights and threes has the best of the high hand right now. Scott moves in for one bet. Jeff calls with the nut low. Lawn calls with second nut low, top and bottom. He trains out. Scott's in a pretty good spot here. He's got an open into straight draw, nut low draw, or nut low. And now Scott just hit. Trip sixes. Trip sixes. And the nut low. And the nut low. He's going to win three quarters of this pot. Jeff's going to get a quarter of the pot here with the nut low. Scott's debating whether or not to raise right now. We lose the straights, we lose the flushes. We could be getting just half the pot with our ace twos. As it is, he's getting three quarters. We knew that for a fact he's always raising. He's gonna raise anyway. Good for Scott. Good for Scott. Trip six is an ace deuce is gonna get Scott three quarters of his pot. Jeff takes the other part of it. And Lon left wondering what went wrong. Hmm. Rick and Barso, thanks for stopping by the stream. Yeah, have a good night, Rick. Thanks again for joining us. Three quarters of the game. So tomorrow is our last flight at the 120 price point. Yep. Tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., 120 buy-in, and 10K, and 6 p.m. And 6 p.m. Oh, and, and 6 Okay, the two, there's two flights. Okay, so two more flights tomorrow, two more shots to get in at that $120 price point, and then we go to the 240, 240 buy-ins for Friday and Saturday. And that's just a one, one day or one uh, event per day. Day two on Sunday, 11 a.m. It's going to be big. Uh, DT, Dr. Prepper, uh, Chachi's doing well. <laughs> Chachi's faring a lot better than Veronica and Master C are right now. Just a quick 
question. I'm sure the dog's mixed in somewhere amongst the wine bottles. <laughs> dog's drunk, passed out underneath the table. Don't worry, everybody. Totally fine. At this point, I would trust a dog to drive more than I would Veronica yes. or Master C. Absolutely. Or more than half the population on that poker table right now. Ozzy's going to open up for two bets with the Ace-8, 5-5, five, five, double suited. A-Train, Ace-Queen, Queen-Six. We got a dangler. <laughs> Six is not doing much for our hand. Master C is thinking if he can squint hard enough, he can turn his bad cards into good cards. <laughs> there it is. Eight, six, four, three, eight. Good for two bets. Everyone's calling. Scott, fresh off of three quartering, everyone. Looks like he's gonna. Nope. Oh, and looks like we're gonna have a family pot. There it is. Family pot. Everyone in for two bets. Yeah, no one likes folding much here. King nine four rainbow. Can't see Lon's full card. Uh, Jeff flops middle set here with pocket nines. Oh, beautiful. On a rainbow flop. Yep. With a decent chance of no low coming out. In position. Betting a call and another call. Veronica, 873 deuce. Uh, that's that's optimistic. We got backdoor hard, some backdoor low draws, backdoor straight draws, but by the we make straight with the backdoor straight draws, we lose to the low. Uh, I think her, uh, her profile picture says it all. People don't like folding. King of diamonds on the turn. Boated up now for Jeff. No one has a king here, though. It brings in diamonds that no one has. Now there's no low draws. It's going to be hard for Jeff, anyone else to give Jeff any action, unless someone decides to, to start bluffing at this. This will probably be the last of it. God, and Master C opens another bottle. It's <laughs> <laughs> so good. So good. One bottle behind his castle of chips, going for another. <laughs> Anything worth doing is worth doing right. If you're going right. to get That's shmammered right. on stream, I mean, really get shmammered on stream. Start flipping off cameras, you know, like, really go for it. Don't half-ass it. Oh god, now we're here's the straddle start. Oh god. The straddle. Quadruple straddle. There's now four bets in pre. Will Sally put in five bets? The dead 24, the dead 32. So good. So it's a dead 32. That's your average uh, Wednesday night here at Stones. Queen, queen, six, two, double suited. Got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> this game. What the hell is wrong with everyone this game? Oh, my God. They're just putting in stacks. This, this is wonderful. <laughs> They're not betting, you know, one bet or two bets. It's one stack or two stacks. And there's only open for five bets. Five small bets here. And we found some customers. <laughs> this is great. Six ways, five bets. 
ace, five, two, two spades. And I don't know if Master C has looked at his cards. I don't believe he has. And wow, what a freaking hand to Scott has right there. Beautiful flop for Scott. Oh, wow. And look at that. Master C has flopped the nut nut <laughs> without looking at his cards. Shut <laughs> up. Yes. He's flopped the nut, the wheel. As they say in rounders, enough to take the high and the low. <laughs> oh my god. And the man does not look at his cards and he's just betting blind. Oh, and there it is, the three of spades. Scott now turns Scott turns second nut flush. And the wheel. And the wheel. Shane has a worse flush. And Master C is still he's getting, getting a piece of this. I mean, he's just going to be having, when he's, he's betting dark here, and he has no idea what he's, what he's got. He's going to be very pleasantly surprised to, find, to be getting some money back here. Yes. Shane, you have a flush. And you have a draw. If the four comes off, you make the super sh like, Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Four spades is gone. Yeah. Scott's got it. Scott's got the four spades. Everyone's having a good time here in this game tonight. He's trying to move all in. <laughs> <laughs> That's as he moves all in in a limit game. <laughs> and if you're Shane here, in any other 4 8 game, Shane's not calling with the 6 7 of space. But this game's playing so out of control here, he's like, I'm not folding a flush at these knuckleheads. <laughs> These guys can have anything in you know, the damn world here. One guy's not looking at his cards. Who knows what the others are? I'm not folding. <laughs> what a beautiful spot for Scott. So both Shane, Scott, oh no, no, so Scott, Jeff, and Master C yep. all have wheels. This is going to take a long time to figure out how to chop this one up at the end. Right? All right, one six to you, one six to you, one six to you, and half to you. Seven changes nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Master C is attempting once again to put a really big bet. <laughs> Yeah, better pay the waitress before the all the chips are gone, Master C. <laughs> As he's stroking the chips awkwardly in front of the server. So Scott's going to get about 66% of his pot. Half of the high and third of half of the low. <laughs> and Alicia just made two dollars right there because Master C's, Master C's chip fell into her her area. <laughs> this is wonderful. Everyone's calling off here. <laughs> Scott's about to win the what world. A wild hand. This is almost a thousand dollar pot in eight sixteen. That's not, and this isn't even played with a kill. No, this is just eight sixteen gone wild. This is about as big of a pot as you're gonna see a one k pot in an eight sixteen game. Scott is gonna be loving life. Look at that, plus four hundred and sixty six dollars profit on this hand. Wee! This hand just made his night. A nice hand, Scott. And Shane. Well, my friend. 
Just not there. What a game. Sick game. And we need to think of a 10 minute long story here to tell all of you while uh, the dealer counts out this pot and tries to figure it out. The hard part of the dealer here is going to be all the drunks that are trying to help. Yeah. It always Everyone get away. Stop right? touching. I mean, it's always the worst thing anyway in poker. Oh, honestly, just sit down. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> like, every, everyone in poker just tries to do it. Everyone just be a table captain. Everyone tries to you know, run the show. Drunks trying to run the show. Even worse. Eight drunks trying to run a pot that's getting halved and then thirded, getting, you know, a sixth on each side. One, six, three ways. There we go. There we go. Our man Eddie, he's got this. Eddie's the man. He did that a lot faster than I think a lot of dealers Yeah, he, he did that. He did that really Not bad at all. So just in case any of you are joining us and don't know what's going on, Omaha High Low, everyone's dealt four cards just like Texas Hold'em. In this game, you have to play two of your whole cards for the high and the low. Scott is now our big winner in the game. Now the graphic's showing that Shane's down to 126 bucks. He's got more than that. Those are two dollar chips. And he's got, I mean, he's got about two and two. Oh, God, now they're all taking shots. Oh, Jesus. Chachi, you're driving. Chachi, you are driving. Gosh, it's been a while since I've played a really banging drinking game. <laughs> right? It's been a while. Oh, the Veronica and Friends game. What are you going to do? Lon McCarron takes a sip. Scott slams it. <laughs> they have great food here. This place can eat up, sleep it off, and now the food's coming in. This is good. You gotta give some credit to Mass to Master C for driving this the action in this game. I mean, started the double and triple straddles, playing without looking, and everyone has had to adjust around him and get their ass up out of the muck. Yep. If you're sitting here just like nut pedaling, you're gonna get run over in this game. Absolutely. Hats off to Master C, making the 816 off the chain. I'm just thinking about those duck tacos right now. Those are bomb. Don't they right now? Those are the oh best. God. Those are the best. <laughs> Sometimes you can add bacon to them. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. It's good for you. Bacon's good for your soul. Yeah. It might not be good for anything else, but it's good for the soul. It's good for the soul. <laughs> Queen 9 3 deuce rainbow, why not? Let's get in there. <laughs> trying to see through the vodka. Law normally has one quirk as a card protector. He now has four quirks. Oh my god. With lots of card protectors going on <laughs> Oh goodness. I could just see ESPN playing Law McCarran in like the office. Like, so who's Veronica Brill? <laughs> and you're like, oh, I can explain. <laughs> Like Massa C's raising it up with Ace and Jack Jack Jack. Oh, we're trading tacos for sliders. There is love. There is love <laughs> in this room. Oh, 
if this doesn't motivate you guys to somehow like take a trip to get here to Stones, I don't know what else does. Ace five three two spades. Jeff flops top two. Solid. Top and bottom for A train. <laughs> Sally with bottom pair and a gutter ball. Master C's raising it up. Jeff throws away Ace Five. Wow. I can see that in a, like a really nitty game, in a really nitty where you figure there's I mean just other action. I mean that's good. but in this game, I'm not throwing away two credit for anything. Six comes off. Adrian L. Top two. Three pair. Multiplying the ways that she can boat up. And there it is, Sally. Three deuce. It's gonna be get a scoop. Scoop a loop. Master C has not looked yet. <laughs> <laughs> Three pair, A train, ain't gonna do it. Master C is gonna peel real slowly. Oh, and he first he pulls the jack of spades. Yeah, she hates that. You hate to see that. She's going, Sally's going crazy. Jack, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> what a fun sweat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Someone's calling down and they're gonna peel their cards over when I'm in time. And the first one he rips is a spade and he's just like, oh god, no. Master C is the man. He has made this game off the charts. Make sure they haven't taken me off the list for this game. Not now. Still on the list. <laughs> Bitcoin went up another fifteen dollars. Hey G, G, make sure to keep Jake on the list for the A16. All right, all right. I got you. I got you. I got you. Can't can't get taken off of this list. No. Can't get taken off of this list. the point where I don't think that bluff gets through now. No. I don't think anyone's... No. Well, plus Master C's playing dark and calling that down, so you literally can't get any bluffs through. But your value betting range just, like, opens up, I mean, incredibly wide. Yeah. Like, one parish. And there it is, Master C in the house, raising up to 16. <laughs> He's still got a nice stack. He's managed to stay alive here in this game. 10-4 deuce rainbow. Sally. Middle set. Not low draw for A-Train. Long's got backdoor hearts, backdoor spades, and a dream. <laughs> And in a game where people aren't finding folds, he's going to bluff at it. Master C finds a fold. Three counterfeits A train's not low draw. She's 
She does have the A6 for the best low at this point, though. She's probably going to stay in there. Or not. Sally's already celebrating. She knows she's won the pot. Check, right? Check good. <laughs> what a game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, hey, it's too much fun. Gotta want to get in this game. Get me in the game. Put me in, coach. stacking up like that like Scott stack looks so much smaller than Jeff's and he has more know, tips right <laughs> Scott is squinting <laughs> Scott's oh, creating a nice little movie scene here for us <laughs> where we can we can fill in some nice dialogue and make this a nice little a nice little set. <laughs> yeah. Scott raises to 16. Long gets in there with the 7, 8, 10 jack. Double suited, a hand that I would really love in Omaha high game. Oh yeah. Those type of hands are Premium. My favorite type of hands right there. Seven, eight, ten jack, double suit. I'll take that all day on my high game. Looks like we got five players going to the flop. Queen, three, eight, two diamonds. Lawn's hand flopping extremely well. Inside straight draw, diamond draw. Really wouldn't mind Sally's hand either in a in an Omaha high game. Looks like Scott's betting with his mystery hand, lawn calls. Looks like Shane's putting in a raise. Yeah, Shane puts in two. It says call, but it looks like a raise. Diamond. And wow, Sally folded her flush draw. Wow. She had the 8-4 of diamonds on the flop. Damn. Lawn bets his flush, gets action from Shane and Scott. Ozzy calls as well. Diamonds. King nine of diamonds with a live deuce, six deuce for low, six four, six four. Live four for low, good. 
You gonna be around? The old scoop a loop for Shane. Nice, gotta see Shane get some back. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's good. stretch thanks again for everyone for making the chat entertaining as always all right got our last two or three hands here for the night omaha high low 816 limit super action game if you've been watching throughout the stream tonight it's definitely been a fun game to watch master c has been driving the action with lots of no look, I'm going to bet down, call down to the river. <laughs> and has actually done really well with that style. I mean, he's, oh he's maintained his stack pretty nicely. It's made this game a lot of fun. Oh, and there's the trip. Or here we go. Straddling again. Here's a straddle, a dark 24, a dark 32, and here comes Ozzy. Looks like he's completing it to 40 now. 40 to go pre. Master C. Master C. <laughs> Queen Jack 7. Dude, I love, I love Master C. He is a super fun guy to play with, man. He's, he's, he is awesome. Putting in the five bets. No look. He might have to. Who knows? So we're five bets, six ways, seven ways. Five bets, seven ways. No, eight ways. Everyone's in. No. Scott, yeah, Scott's got cards as well. Everyone's in for the full five bets and King 4-4. Four, four. Who's not in? Everyone's in. We're playing eight-handed, I believe. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I believe. Right? No, we're missing uh, Alicia. We're missing A-Train. We're playing nine-handed tonight? God, I just noticed we're playing nine-handed tonight. <laughs> uh, looks like no one has a four. Queen on the turn. Queen of hearts on the turn. Shane now with the royal flush draw. Yeah, Atrium is only only person not, not getting there. Everyone checks, and there it is. Shane hits the nut flush on the river. No possible low. He's going to take this one down. There's been no bet post-flop on this one. Wow. There it is. Watch that have pocket eights. Persian Viking Pounds. Do you see two? Do you play with them? Which day? C2. Persian Mike. Which table? Right in front of us. The table? Yeah, the table C2. No. Or... Yeah. <laughs> what game is this? That looks like 1 2. It's a deep 1 2. 
He put in a, like a 30 hour session the other day. That guy? Yes. Put a 30 hour session in. Yes. He's like 97. <laughs> yes. I'm not joking. I cannot make Ow. this up. He, what drugs is he taking? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, are we on air? I'm sorry, everyone. Is there a hand going on here? Excuse us. Excuse me. <laughs> Here's our current... Big pot for shame. <laughs> oh, God. So I believe with the current uh, pace of this game, this should be our last hand of the night here. It's been a very enjoyable game to commentate on. Absolute madness. I definitely have a lot more respect for people live commentating now on Omaha High Low Games. It's not the easiest. Oh no, so many cards. I mean, it's not I the mean, easiest. This game, people get confused looking yeah. at their own cards, their own hand, and one board. Trying to like look over eight it's, or nine it's different difficult. hands. It's very difficult. And quick, who's going high low? Wait, wait, oh, it's got you know two pair trips. No, oh, he's a straight and. But yeah, uh, for, for, for yeah, for uh, for live broadcast now, I have a lot of respect. A mess. lot of respect. Lon's gonna start it off by limping into the gun. Veronica gets out. Everyone's trying not to fall asleep right now from all the alcohol intake. <laughs> Lawn with a really nice ace jack suited, 5-3. Nice. Very nice Omaha high low hand. I don't know why I never say eight or better. I always say Omaha high low. Is that weird? No, that's not weird. Master C. Actions on Shane as Sally's putting in a third bet. Third bet. East nine eight two. Long cap the action though, he called 24. <laughs> Action's been capped. It was Scott who four bet. Scott four bet the Queen Jack 10 9. That's a beautiful hand for a high. Ace 6 9. Sally flops top two pair. Scott flops a flush draw and a lot of different backdoor options. And Shane's out by far the best low draw. Shane's got the second nut low draw. This could be a pretty big pot. Around to sell in the button who bets her top two pair. Chips are flying everywhere. Madness Jesus. is madness is ensuing right now. Oh my goodness. And Chachi's back. There's Chachi. Two to three bets pre, or two to three bets in the flop. So now that makes it three bets to go with the ace nine. Queen of clubs. Did Scott get away? No, Scott's still in the hand. Scott now turns a great wow, card. Double flush draw, open into straight draw, and two pair. Wow. Monster high draw for Scott. Checks around to Sally, who bets again. A lot of table talk going on. Looks like Scott is raising. Oh 
two pair, open it, a straight draw, double flush draw. And we miss. But, no, still, Sally's gonna be good here. Sally's gonna scoop. Discussing how is this how is this possible? <laughs> <laughs> how can I not improve? <laughs> Sally's having a great time. Sally's <laughs> very animated. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> $350 pot. I mean, these, you realize how fast these pots get really big really quick. Yeah. What a game. That was an insane, that was an insane game. It's hard to, Good luck like, to you, yeah. sir, <laughs> if you get in the game tonight. I hope so. I hope I get in there. That was our show for tonight, guys. Uh, don't forget the quantum tournament is still going on. You have two more chances to fire the 120 buy in tomorrow. After that, there's two $240 flights Friday and Saturday. Day two on Sunday, you can direct buy for $900. Start with 100 can chips. It's going to be big. I can't wait. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's it's been awesome. Right on, guys. Thanks for joining us, everybody.